Now, next question, you are familiar with CFT, crystal field theory for complexes. There are complexes which are said to be high spin complexes and also low spin complexes. High spin complex means more number of unpaired electrons. High spin complex means more number of unpaired electrons and low spin complex means less number of unpaired electrons that means more of pairing of electron takes place. So, in the case of high spin pairing as far as possible is avoided. The presence of unpaired electron is important. In the case of low spin complex pairing is important. Whether a complex is a high spin complex or a low spin complex that depends on the nature of ligands. In this connection I want to mention one point because this will cover both question number 3 and 4. Splitting of d orbitals is important in crystal field theory. Probably you remember there are 5 number of orbitals in d level. These 5 orbitals are said to be degenerate degenerate means all the phi numbers of d orbitals have the same energy. So, in the free ion these d orbitals are degenerate they have the same energy, but when the ligands approach the central metal atom or metal ion as the case may be we usually say the degeneracy is lost, degeneracy is lifted or degeneracy is destroyed. All these statements mean the same. That is when the ligands approach the central metal atom or ion as the case may be, the d orbitals are no longer degenerate. They split for example, when 6 ligands approach in the form of an octahedral field, these 5 numbers of d orbitals split in the form of 2 sets, 1 you are aware of the fact, 1 set T 2 G, another E G orbitals, T 2 G set will contain 3 orbitals out of 5 and the remaining 2 orbitals are denoted by E g. So, when the ligands approach the central metal atom or ion as the case may be the degeneracy is lost and no longer these d orbitals will have the same energy and splitting of d orbitals takes place in the form of 2 sets. 1 T 2 G having a lower energy and E G having a higher energy in the case of the octahedral field. All right. Now, the energy splitting between T 2 G and E G in an octahedral field is denoted by delta O. O stands for octahedral environment and T 2 G orbitals having lower energy are said to be stabilized, whereas E G orbitals having a higher energy are said to be destabilized. And it is assumed that each electron in a T 2 G orbital will stabilize it, will stabilize it by a value of minus 0 0.4. There are 
three d orbitals in T2g, each accommodating a maximum of two electrons, three into two six, six into minus point four. Similarly, eg orbitals two in number, each accommodating a maximum of two electrons, there will be four electrons, four into plus zero point six. Each electron in the eg orbital will destabilize it by a value of 0 0.6 delta O, it is not delta 0, delta O for octahedral cases. Now, consider question number 3, crystal field stabilization energy, crystal field stabilization energy CFSE for a high spin octahedral complex high spin that means the total number of um, uh, electrons in these cases uh, will be different for high spin complex. Now, let us consider in this case octahedral complex D6 ion, D6 ion. So, high spin complex, we should remember for a D6 case, how many electrons are present in T2G and how many in EG, high spin that means the splitting energy is not very high. If it is not very high, naturally out of 6 electrons, T 2 G will accommodate, there are 3 orbitals, D orbitals in T 2 G, each will accommodate 1 electron. So, 3 electrons will occupy singly in T 2 G, remaining 3 in E G, 2 electrons occupy singly and the naturally the 6th electron will come to T 2 G. So, in this case, T 2 G 4 and E G 2, this is the configuration for the high spin complex. Just now I have told you each electron in T 2 G will stabilize it by minus 0 0.4, there are 4 electrons. So, 4 into minus 0 0.4 that is minus 1.6 and each electron in E g will destabilize it by plus 0 0.6 and there are 2 electron, 2 into 0 0.6 plus 1.2 and the difference is minus 0 0.4. So, for question number 3, the correct answer is D minus 0 0.4 D uh, delta O. Again, O standing for octahedral environment. In this connection, you should remember one relationship. Depending on the number of ligands and the direction from which they approach the central metal ion, for each this delta value will change, splitting energy will be different. Now, this relationship I have written here, delta T is more or less equal to 4 by 9 delta O. T stands for tetrahedral environment and O stands for octahedral environment and the splitting energy in the tetrahedral case is less than that of octahedral case. It is quite obvious because in the octahedral case, 6 ligands approach the central metal ion, but in the case of tetrahedral environment only 4 ligands approach and so it is arrived at like this delta T is more or less equal to 4 by 9 delta O.